Hey guys, I was practicing this move today and thought, hey, why not make a tutorial for those out there looking to try it out, give it a shot, add it into some of their combinations, and see what they can do with it. It's basically a wrist spin with an extra spin that transitions into another wrist spin. Sounds like a lot, but all that comes from just one little small move that you kind of put into it. So, if you have a wrist spin, which is just there, to there, there, to there. That's kind of all you really need for this one. Um, here's an example. So wrist spin, catch, wrist spin, out. That's going from your right hand to your left hand, or from your left hand to your right hand. And you can do back one way here, or back the other way, and there. So a couple ways to start this one off is to break it down into sections, is we're gonna do one wrist spin, stop right there in a reverse grip. So, with your right hand, do one wrist spin and stop. Let that in dangle there so you kind of get a feel for where that weight is going. One more time, one wrist spin, stop. And now, the important part is the placement of your left hand. So when you do the one wrist spin, you're gonna want that left hand to begin tracing, tracing the arm and both thumbs are gonna come up like this. Left hand is gonna be under the right hand because that's where this one is gonna come out. So, one more time. Airplane. Okay, one more time. So, do wrist spin, wrist spin, we got that there. Now, reverse. Pop, bend it down, and swing this one over. Now the right hand's empty, left hand's full. Back the other way, and there. So, what I'm doing here is coming there, and then continue that motion. As you catch it, keep going. And then you are going to bring this hand, either coming from this way, or you can bring it up. Whichever way it takes to get there is where you want it. And you remove the right hand and continue that over into another wrist spin if you want. So, and you can go back the other way. Like that. So, step one, here. Step two, catch that one. And that's pretty much it. Step three is you can come out, do a few more forms if you want, back into your wrist spin. Uh, it's just a quick way to bring something out and back in front, or bring something here and then back in front. So there's a lot of fun patterns and circles you can do with this one. Uh, some of my favorite you can probably play around with is what I was just doing there. Those catches, as it comes through, there. Comes through, there. Comes through, there. So. There's quite a few things you can do with this. Now, it's not just limited to one pair of chucks. Um, you can do it with maybe a bigger pair uh, as you're coming through. Uh, you can still do quite a few things uh, with a big pair. Or if you're a fire chuck artist, you can definitely do this one with fire chucks. Looks really fun um, coming through and finding some really neat patterns to flow with it and uh, just keep it going. Uh, you can do your uh, rifle transitions, you can go into a rifle toss from it, which is one of my favorites, here, 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 into a rifle toss. So as you come through, boom, boom, toss, catch. Um, another thing that may help is learn it by sections. Um, this is a popular move I've seen with staffs and martial arts forms, and even with fire staffs and things like that, so you can definitely take it. Do the left hand, right hand, whichever one works for you first. Come through. You're going to kind of break it here with the staff. Through and kind of drop it into the other hand. With the chucks, we're a little bit lucky since there's a section in the middle. But with this one, it kind of rolls through as you can see it there. So it's kind of what's going on with the chucks as well. So we do the chucks here. Kind of rolls through. 
We're catching the same one that our reverse grip is on. It's the same hand. And it's just bringing your arm through. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Um, definitely play around with this one. It takes a lot of practice to get. Um, it took me a while to figure it out, but once I got it, it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, so everyone, enjoy that one. Definitely have some fun, and show me what you got. Keep spinning. Thank you.